Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. It's been a little bit, but I'm back, and we're just going to cover just a small subject. It's going to be basically uh, covering the cold distance volumes that are in Unreal Engine 4. And basically what a cold distance volume does is it determines the distance between the camera and any kind of objects, such as static meshes. Um, and it determines how far away it is, and we can set properties within that volume to tell the engine to not draw any objects once the camera reaches a certain distance. So what we have set up here, we have uh, three different cubes, one big, one medium, one small. And then based upon our distance from the camera, they'll disappear. And then we can play in-game. When we start off this far, we start walking, and then the big one appears. The medium one appears, and then eventually when we get close enough, the small one appears. So it's good for optimizing your levels, especially if you have large landscapes. You can also use level streaming to do the same effect, but this one's a, a little more simpler than that. Uh, and how you do it, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you first need to create a cold distance volume. So if you just go to your volumes over here and cold distance, you can just drag that out. And you can have multiple in a level, I believe. Um, so if you need to have certain areas uh, covered with a specific volume, go ahead and do so. But for the sake of this short tutorial, we're just going to have the one volume here. And once you click on your cold distance volume, whatever you can set it up, you know, obviously it's brush shape. You can change its shape from, you know, cubes to uh, cylinders, all that good stuff. Uh, but you can also change, I see the size in the X, Y, and Z. Uh, but the most important uh, aspects of the volume are under the cold distance volume tab where you can add, add as many elements as you want. Uh, each element requests a size and the cold distance. Uh, so the size, what, what it's looking for is the size of the bounds of the object. So uh, 200 represents the small box. So right now we don't see any changes just because we're not in game mode. Uh, but once we get 200 units away, the small box disappears. And if we go 300 units away, the... Oh, I'm sorry, once we get 800 units away, Anything the size of 200 or less is pretty much cold out. So we can have two of these boxes and they'll disappear. You can change the scale of it too. And if we make this one bigger, it won't disappear right away. So again, everything's taking place in the volume. So again, size is the bounds of the object that you, that's in question. Cold distance is the camera's distance away from any objects that have the bound size that you set. And you can have each uh, element take care of a certain size. So uh, 200 or less after 800 units will disappear once you're in game mode. Anything 300 or less will disappear over 1,200 units. And then anything 450 or less will disappear over 2,750. So that's pretty much it. Uh, again, this is only really effective for uh, large areas. Again, you can also use level streaming. Just depends on what exactly you want to do and what, what needs to be done uh, for your for your level or your world. Um, but that's pretty much it for this pre uh, quick tutorial. So I hope you are able to understand uh, the cold distance volumes, what their purpose is, and how they work. Uh, so again, all you have to worry about is the cold distance volume uh, aspect of the properties and set the size and cold distance for what you want based on how big your objects are, how many objects there are. Um, but just as a heads up, I believe it does not work with movable objects. Uh, so if you go into here, we change it from static to movable, and then we start backing away, it doesn't apply. So it seems like it only applies to static meshes, uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, but that's going to be the end of this tutorial. Uh, and again, my name is Devin Sherry. I hope you guys learned a lot, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video, and it's been a while since I've made any kind of video, so I'm slowly getting back into it. I am getting a little busy with some side projects, I am working on uh, a new set of tutorials, but it is for uh, a different company, I can't mention who they are, I believe, I haven't got any confirmation, I can tell you who, who I'm working for, what I'm working on, things like that. But once I get that confirmation, I'm definitely going to share it with you guys. Um, but for now, I'm slowly going to be making more tutorials for this channel. So don't think I forgot about you, and I see where I got to at this point is because of you guys and your support. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Also check out some of the other videos here for you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!